Do you know growing a business just for money and growth can harm your business? Growth is a default mindset where everyone wants to earn money, but risking your business only to grow fast isn't always good. Paul Jarvis proves it right in his book, A Company of One, Why Staying Small is the Next Big Thing for Your Business. Before moving further, take a moment and subscribe to Video Monks to watch the latest insightful, motivational, and business videos first. And now, let's learn about the general idea of the book. According to Paul, adopting a mindset of a company of one to build a lean setup that can give you economic hype can be fair enough. But before that, ask yourself these two questions. Is being better enough for my business? Is adopting this mindset good? If it's hard for you to answer these questions, then this video is for you. As a businessman, you may ignore the small risks that can cause big damage. The book doesn't present an idea of anti-growth. In fact, it has some key points that will make it easy for you to avoid risk in your business. Let's start with the first point, shall we? Be better, not bigger. When a company focuses on growth, it may result in heavy investment in the following areas, such as advertising, sophisticated website, mobile app. Adding these areas means expanding the team to manage the ads, website, and app. And expanding a team means a rise in expenses, which forces you to keep making money. For example, Starbucks lost money when it experimented with expanding into CDs, fancy drinks, and sandwiches. It made hundreds of stores shut down while losing focus on the original product, making the best coffee. So what does this tell us? Do what suits you best. Still, the question arises, why does a startup business fail? The answer is unchecked growth. But unfortunately, most startups scale up too rapidly and end up with nothing. For example, a company has a revenue of approximately $8 million but spends $15 million on advertising. Doing this results in losing more than their revenue. Rapid growth brings up nothing more than loss. In comparison, slow growth is beneficial in some ways and at some points. Sure, it's amazing that you have grown to the point that you can build sustainability, but spending rapidly can be dangerous for your business. It may even let superior thoughts enter your mind, such as, maybe my business has enough. Maybe my business is more sustainable at its current level. Maybe my business is more profitable at this point. Grow with the same resources. A small company is way too good to fail than a big company to fail. A company with low overhead costs can stay in business for a long time. Let's say you have a company where you're an only employee and your total monthly expense is $3,000. Then all you have to make is $3,000, which is fair enough. You can have this money from only five to six clients if they pay you $600 weekly it will cover all your expenses. This is the beauty of owning a small business. It's hard to kill and stays in for a long time. The most important thing is if you love what you do, then it's worth owning a small business. Own a small business. Have you ever thought about how much fun it is to work alone? Yes, it might get hectic, but see the positive side of working alone. There are four key traits of a company of one, such as resilience or ability to bounce back from the difficulties, autonomy and control over your business and career, speed to find creative ideas in a limited time, simple to process and rule. Being on your own means you have to work twice as hard, but remember that a workaholic attitude results in poor mental, emotional, and physical health. That's why a balance between work life and personal life is important. It'll give you a clear vision of the process, systems, and checklist. Adopt the right mindset. Small businesses are usually built on an idea that comes directly from the heart. This is because these businesses have overwhelming stories. For example, you bought something from a random shop just because you love the idea of that certain product, and you love to tell people about it without hesitating. That certain product is not from any brand, but still, it's beneficial in many ways, and the way to tell people to make them buy it too. See, it's as simple as it is. It doesn't matter how small your business is. Just following your passion and starting with getting good at solving problems and helping others can give you a boom. So build a strong foundation by giving people the easiest way to reach you. Like you know the easiest way to reach Video Monks is by subscribing to our channel. And now, let's move to the next point. Build trust. People trust small businesses because they're dedicated to clients. Small businesses don't have a lot of clients, so they try to keep the ones they have. This is what people love the most, the dedication of a company toward their clients. You can show this dedication by teaching them all about your product. It will build trust and connection. Showing the benefits of your product makes them buy it and helps them use it. You can also build trust by sharing the positive experience of your existing clients. Start with baby steps. When you come up with a new product idea, it brings a lot of assumptions, such as what are customers' exact needs? 
How perfectly does your solution work? What should be an ideal price? Try launching the smallest version of your idea. It will make you observe the people's reactions and learn what works and what doesn't. This launching process can make it possible to collect reviews. You can improve your product with reviews and adjust your strategy instead of sticking to a fixed plan. Leverage scalable systems. You can scale up in a small business without getting bigger. Doing this will keep your team focused. There are three C's to scaling up your business, which include creation, connection, collaboration. Stand out with a unique brand personality. When you start a business, the first thing to consider is the uniqueness of your brand. Your brand should have its own personality, which tells people what it says and does. If you don't assign your product any personality, your customers will do that for you. Your brand should reflect an authentic, distinct aspect of who you are and who you serve. Don't be afraid while giving your brand personality. Make it catchy, unusual, quirky, or interesting. If you try to appeal to everyone, you'll end up appealing to no one. Another thing you can do to give your brand recognition is to use polarization to spark debate and create visibility. Try to win over people who hate you. It's the best way to make your place in the market. Start your own business. Once you know the key features of a successful small business, you can start your own. But starting a business isn't for everyone. You must put your ego aside and learn as much as possible from everyone. As a business owner, you should know about every department, including HR, accounts, product development, sales, marketing. Before starting, consider a few things to succeed. Build your skills and customers based on part-time first. Think about minimizing expenses and optimizing your time to achieve profit. Set up as a separate legal entity to stay protected. Get a good accountant who can advise you on laws and taxes. Design your business to achieve your desired lifestyle. Remember that business should work for you and not the other way around. That's it for this video. Like, comment, and share this video. To get more insightful motivational and business-related content in the future, subscribe to Video Monks now.